Hello friends, in this video, I will show you a simple what critical web application attack that can put your user's data or money at risk. This attack is as simple as clicking a link. A hacker does not need any special software or hardware to perform it. This is why it is important to understand how it works. So I will give you a demo by using a sample web application to show you exactly how it works. And then I will show you how you can protect your web application. Here I am talking about CSRF, Cross Site Request Forgery. In this attack, a malicious actor tricks a legitimate user into clicking a link while they are logged in into your web application. That can lead to a harmful actions such as stealing money, accessing data, making a harmful post or making an unwanted change into the user's account. This is a demo web application on which I will perform CSRF attack. I made this web application intensely insecure. For now, let's understand how a legitimate user use this web application. There is a login form where they can enter their valid username and password. On the successful login, it will take the users to the account page. On the account screen, the user can see their total balance and they can also transfer money to someone else. For example, the user send $100 and the remaining balance is $900. Now let's see how an attacker perform an attack. They will understand your web form which transfers money. They look for details such as API endpoint, input fields, HTTP method, and then they create their own form, which they can trigger submit on page load. After that, they edit a beautiful email and send that to thousands of users. Your application's users may be one of them. And when they do simple click on that link, the money is gone. One thing to remember, this attack works only in a web browser where the user is already logged in and they are in session. If the user try to open that link in a different browser where they are not logged in, it will not work. It is also important to understand the code of attacker, how they create the form and how they trigger the request. So they already know what are the endpoints are required in your web application to transfer money. They also know the input fields that are required. And after that, they create a hidden form in their web application. And once the web page of their application is loaded, the form is submit automatically on the page load. Now you understand how it works. Time to learn how to protect your web application from CSRF. Well, there are multiple methods, but in this video, I will discuss about anti-CSRF token. In this method, you need to generate an anti-CSRF token on the web server for each user session and then send that token to the user's browser. When the user submit the form, include that token in the request and then validate that token on the web server. If the token is valid, proceed with the user's request. Let's see this with an example in the demo application. Here is the account API, which display the form as well. So I created a token here, created a hidden input element as well, which has the value as the token. Now here is the transfer endpoint. You need to validate the token. Here. If the token is valid, your application is secure. Now let's try to perform this attack once again. You need to log in into your web application and then try to send the money. For example, you send the $200 and you successfully transfer the amount to someone else. Now let's try to click on the attacker's link. And once you click on this link, it will not allow to send any money. It will throw an error unauthorized. 
well that's brings to the end of this video thanks for watching